everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to do another tiki max haul and partly it will be um target haul as well because i was looking for some pillows for my couch and i wanted to find pillows that would suit a particular style in my head i wanted to find something like a moroccan style or something like this but yet to have a colors that would suit the pictures that i have on the walls around my couch so i had one pillow like that that i bought from ikea um it, it was actually not the pillow itself it was case that i bought from pillowcase from ikea and i wanted to match that as well so um if you like my previous video from my shopping from tiki max you know um, please enjoy watching this one i have your items that i bought for the past two weeks i still have the tags on I used some of it like I didn't use it in particular like in the house but I put it inside the house what I wanted it to be but I left the prices and the tags on so you guys could see how much each item cost so to give you sort of like a fair idea of how much you can pay for certain pieces of decor from tiki max or from target but yeah mostly the items that i have in this video they will be from tiki max so let's start with the pillows okay so first I want to show you the two pillows that I bought from uh, Target, okay, I had this pillow, okay, I really like the color and the texture of this pillow, I'll try to zoom in, there you go, it's a beautiful texture, okay, at the back it's this color, I paid for this pillow $25, I think it was $25.95, okay, and um, yeah, I really like the fabric and the color and the style of this pillow to go on my couch. Second one I bought is this one. This one looks a little bit funny, like I don't really like these things, okay, but I do love the texture of this pillow here at the front. Just have a look at it, how beautiful it is. The color, you know, the fabric and all this design, it's so beautiful. At the back it's nice and creamy color. Both of the pillows have zippers okay to the cases so if you need to wash it you can take it off and do that this one was 25 as well but i had a situation in the shop because uh it was only two pieces of these pillows left okay and when i went to the shelves to pick it up okay it was this pillow the one that i showed you showed you the brown one beside it it was 25 dollars and this two one of these and the second one that they had in stock were lying down in a spot where it said $16.95. So I assumed that this was $16, you know, and then it had another pillars beside it for $25. So I grabbed the one for $25 and I grabbed this one and I thought, okay, it's going to be a good bargain because one is $16, you know, 90 something, and this one and the other one is $25. It's sort of like cheaper than paying $25 for each, you know. So I grabbed one and I went to check out. And when the lady was scanning, she, the machine showed 25 for this one. I was like, um, is this one 25 or 16? Because I grabbed it from the shelf where the price was underneath 16, 95 or 99, something like that. And then she said, I'm not sure. It shows in my system as 25. So she said, okay, hold on. I will ask one of the persons in stores to go and check it. And uh, we will let you know. So I was just went in your check out, you know, and the lady went and checked. And she called this lady, you know, and she said, yes, it's 25. So when the lady said to me it's actually 25 i was about to leave it because i i liked it but because they're in a similar color and, and stuff i thought okay like i'm not gonna be paying 25 for each i probably will like keep searching you know because i didn't want to spend a lot of money that day and uh like all of this was in my head so uh the lady said look i can sell it to you for 16 because fair enough you bought it from the spot where it was you know 16 dollars and she said probably it was a mistake by one of the uh shop staff you know to put it in the wrong spot so i'll sell it to you as 16 and i was like really and she said yeah i said thank you <laughs> that was so nice of her so yeah so i paid 16 dollars for this one which was nice the second pillow is this one so this is the style that i was looking for oh it's raining now quite strong so this is the style that i was looking for okay sort of like a moroccan style or i don't know how you call it but it's beautiful and i love the colors it took me a long time to find this style and the colors that would suit my interior around the couch okay i really really like it so this one is from tiki max i paid for it 24.95 it has uh it has this color beautiful color at the back okay and sort of like a rough surface uh at the front 
it's really really beautiful it's not a pillow that you would sleep on unless you turn in the other side you know it but as a piece of decor it's really really nice now if you are looking for towels you know tiki max is a beautiful place to buy towels you will find different designs there you know and you will find really really good prices so i'll show you two sets that i bought one i bought uh yesterday when i went to tiki max and another set i bought the week before okay so the first set is this beautiful creamy and gray um towel okay i'll just want to show you closer how the details look like it's so nice so it's two towels here they're still packed okay uh it's two hand towels but this one is sort of like a small size hand towels i paid for it uh 4.99 as you can see it's ridiculous price like seriously it's beautiful this is cotton I don't know what it's made, but it's uh, the company called Home Cairo or CairoHome.com. Okay, and it's 100% cotton. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then I bought a bigger one that looks like this. Okay, it has only one edge. Okay, the other edge is plain, but it looks so nice, so elegant beautiful quality soft nice cotton i really really like it i have another set of towels that i bought when i moved in here from tiki max and it's been serving me uh with trust and honesty for almost a year now and i can tell you definitely this price that you pay for it seems lower than other brands or other shops you know but the quality is really really nice so the big one was 14.99 okay per one so i've got only one of big one with this set okay i've got two shower ones and one hand towel okay so this one is by Beaumondi, <laughs> if i'm reading it right this one is 100% cotton as well i think it's sort of like a french or something design okay or uh, a brand name prices are exactly the same this one was 14.99 for each one of them so it's like 30 dollars for each and they sell it there they have sets where you can buy let's say two big towels shower towels and then two facials and one or two hand towels and that set would be about like 39 or 35 dollars so they pretty much have like a standard prices so big one like this would always go from about 14.95 or 99 to about 19.99 so roughly from 15 dollars to 20. for size of this hand towel quite a big one okay you would pay uh, from $9.99 to $12.99 okay so that would be again standard price this one was $9.99 okay so depending, depending I guess on a brand you will find different price but the range would be exactly the same so pretty much anytime you go to Tiki Max you will always find the same prices which is really good because you know your budget you know how much they sell things for you know and you know if you need ever towels you know where to buy it you know how much money to save for it um so yeah so these two i bought two big shower ones because i want to put it into different bathrooms at the same time okay then if you are looking for bed sets i bought my first bed set from tiki max when i just moved in i paid for it i remember 89.95 it was made in india indian cotton it's beautiful i'll show it to you now how it looks like this is how it looks like on my bed i absolutely love it it's so so soft like but the only problem was with it because of this sort of like uh texture on it every time i would wash in a wash machine it would give a lot of fluff so i was always washing by itself or mixing it with towels it took me i think if i remember it correctly probably like two or three washes to get rid of the fluff but sleeping on this set is so comfy and uh, all the pillows that you see on my bed this is as well from tiki max i bought it <clears throat> together with um the bed set um but um i think i bought like two at one time and another ones all together at, <clears throat> at the same day but um yeah i really really love it so what i bought now is i bought two sets for kids okay i bought this one it's uh, by Sunway Shed, okay? It's beautiful, soft cotton. I paid for it 
okay um, so it's in a queen size my kids have a bunk bed but uh, the blanket that we bought for them from uh, eBay it was a queen size because small single size every time they turn at night the back is always uncovered because it's not wide enough so this is why we bought queen size so every time now I need to buy a set <laughs> for their beds it has to be uh, for the quilt cover it has to be queen size and for the mattress it has to be standard king single okay and for my bed it's a similar situation uh, because I had before king size bed so I still have a blanket king size but then my bed is queen size so when it comes to fitted sheet I buy it queen size and when it comes to quilt cover and the uh, pillowcases you know the whole set together I have to buy king size so it's okay the price when it comes in the price the difference will be in between queen and king about $20 depending on the brand so it's not like you overpaying a lot but sometimes it's a pain in the butt to actually find beautiful set in ticking marks that would be in king size because most of the bed sets there are king uh, sorry are queen or double i don't know why but it's a struggle for me to find at times king size especially if i'm looking at uh, for particular color for particular fabric or style and things like that so yeah it took me a while so i bought this too for my kids it's so soft like literally guys it's so so soft i love it so it comes with a quid cover and two pillowcases standard pillowcases you know retaining that one so they had other colors there but they had it more sort of like for girls so they had a beautiful pale pink and they had bright yellow I didn't want a bright yellow but I thought like these two colors would be perfect for boys because I don't have girls I have boys so um, yeah now for myself I bought this gorgeous color by Park Avenue okay this one i paid for it where is the price 69.99 this one is cheaper than my previous indian one that i mentioned okay this one is i think it's a cotton or linen yes it says european vintage washed 100 cotton okay king size it's so so beautiful i love it i didn't try it yet on my bed to show you the color but i think like you can judge from the color that you see now uh, in the camera the camera picks it up a little bit brighter in real it's more sort of like dirty brown color you know it's it's really nice. it's very deep beautiful color as it says it's like washed i love it i absolutely love it so now i have two bed sets that i can change you know and uh, the pillows that i have there um they will suit this color as well like they had many colors there they had gray color they had a similar one to the to what i have now they have they had um blue and they had white one okay i don't really like sleep on blue i don't know blue is just to me it's like hospital i know i'm really weird <laughs> even though they use like white sheets in a hospital but the blankets are blue and to me like even from my country blue is a hospital style i don't really like it okay white i don't like white you know gray i was not really feeling for gray because my floor and tiles are already gray so i didn't like gray and also like this one is perfect like it's autumn it's halloween <laughs> it's everything like it's just nice colors so um yeah so that was it like you know if you go to different shops and you try to find park avenue you will probably pay for this almost 200 bucks or maybe like 180 or 160 so like in Tiki Max, they have really, really good bargains. Okay, really good bargains. And sometimes they have bargains even on the top of this price, so they will do discounts as well. But something like this won't stay long on the shelf. This is why, like, you have to be lucky to buy it, even if it's a full price, because the color is gorgeous. Okay, then I was looking for some storage. I always look for boxes, baskets, uh, chest of. I don't know treasure chest boxes whatever you call it I always want to find something where I can store my stuff in but I wanted to look again unique and good quality stuff so I'll show you what I bought so these are two boxes that I bought I bought them in the same day so this one I bought for kitchen 
Okay, I paid for it $9.99. This one is made in Vietnam. And I actually have a lot of items by this company. Okay, because I remember this sort of like geographical uh, type of label. Okay, made in Vietnam. It's beautiful. Most of the things are made by hand, which is so precious to me because I like to have unique stuff. Something that is made by hand even even more precious to me. Okay, yeah, I'm a weirdo, I know. <laughs> anyway, so I, I want to use this one um, in kitchen to put bread in it, okay, or buns or cookies or anything that I want, you know, to put. So this one will be used for food, but something not, uh, not wet. It has to be something dry because this is wood. And I don't want it to be damaged, you know, it's just so beautiful, I love it. I love how it's washed out colors, it's just so unique. And I can use it for photography, mm, as a prop. And the next one is this beautiful basket from beautiful dark um, wood or, I don't know, straws, whatever you call it, okay. It's so nice, it's about 30 centimeters diameter. This one was $16.95 and it's handcrafted in Vietnam as well. And here they give a little bit of history about Vietnam, that they're famous with mountains and rice and wood and handmade crafts, okay? Which represent Vietnamese culture and spirit. <laughs> Sounds good. So I will be using this one probably in my bathroom, one of the bathrooms. Maybe I will put my cosmet cosmetics in it, uh, maybe my body care products and stuff like that and also this can be used for my photos like for example put some field flowers in it hold it like this some nice summer dress and off you go to the field to have beautiful photos why not okay guys so my next item is for kitchen as well and i love it i absolutely love it it was made in india I remember that, although I've lost the thing for it. Okay, this one I paid for it $19.95. Okay, it's a spice smasher. I don't know, how do you call it in English? Anyway, you sp smash the spices in it, like you take, for example, a garlic, chili, uh, black pepper, you know, coriander, all in seeds, and you smash it and you use it for cooking. Write to me in the comments, how do you call it in English? Is it spice smasher? I don't remember like I knew the name for it but I forgot anyway this one is so beautiful I love the details on it I'll try to focus for you look how beautiful it is this was handmade as well guys you can see that the ages are not even you can definitely see it's been handcrafted it's not made by the machine okay it has some even dark spots on the wood here like you know it's so nice, like I absolutely love it. I'm not sure if I will be using it for spices. I probably will be using it as a home decor because it's so beautiful. And uh, yeah, so if you're looking for something cute like this, you know, definitely Tiki Max is your place. <laughs> now I bought uh, two plants. One plant I bought that I probably will use on this shelf here beside me. And another plant I will probably use for my kids room because I was looking for something to decorate the room as well. I don't have a particular style yet, what it's going to be, but my youngest one, he loves animals, he loves uh, geography, he loves biology and all of this science, he loves um, learning about different places of the world and he loves to collect things. So I thought I will buy him a cactus when I saw it on the shelf. I thought that cactus will look really nice either in his room or maybe I can put it in my study table. You know, I don't know yet. We will see. Wherever it will fit in the home decor that I will have in my mind, you know, I will use it. But I'll show you how it looks like. So, this is the cactus. <laughs> look how cute it is. So, I paid for it $9.95. Look how cute it is. Oh my god. So, so cute. It doesn't look really fake, like it literally looks cute. And again, you can use it for photography. I probably will either paint this pot, like do some painting on it, abstract maybe painting, or I will buy a wooden sort of like pot where I can put it in. I don't really like the black, 
like most of my house is not really in dark colors i have nice warm colors in my home so probably i will do something about this black color on it but i just love the cactus by itself it's so cute and uh, i like here the details of the moth it's really nice as well yeah so i love it and other two items are this one look at this gorgeous gorgeous plant look guys how cute it is it's literally like from the movie frozen do you remember the small trolls in the area where they used to live all the moths in uh, rocks you know and those sort of like fairy tale plants you know and the pots that would have those little bit of moisture in it and dust and dirt and stuff this is what i want i love these things it's just so beautiful again i can use it for photography and it will look nice on shelves so for this one i paid 14.95 okay as you can see prices are very good in tiki max and i just love it it just looks like one of those old you know old plants i don't know like a fairy tale plants love it love it love it look at the pot how <laughs> unique it is and to go with it i bought this candle okay it has a cactus in it this one is 12 12.95 i think it's sandwood and citronella as well like the one that i have outside but together they look so cute i'll show you how i placed it on my shelves and how they look like near to my uh, picture frame And the last item is this two story letter, okay, or a table. So it's called Step Stool. I paid for it $49.99. This one is handcrafted in India as well by different company. Okay, the company was there somewhere. The details of it are just so beautiful look at it it's actually similar to the style of my spice nesher okay so it looks like that again i can use it for photography indoor because i have a um, backdrop portable backdrop you know and i can put my kids to sit on it i can put a baby to sit on it like not a baby but the toddler i can put my cat to sit on it and take photos you know and uh yeah so i'm back again this is it this is all the items that i wanted to show you in this video okay you have some fair understanding about the prices now in tiki mugs what can be found in there you can see that this this store is full of unique beautiful things that you can um, decorate your home with you know and give it a little bit of character and uh, the quality of the items in tiki max is very very good trust me because i bought so much already from there for my home and i can tell that the quality is really good especially when it comes to wood wooden items i love it i absolutely love it anyway um if you like this video put a thumbs up and uh, i'll see you in my next one bye